Hey guys, welcome back. It's here with the Shawnee B. And today we're going to play Super Liminal. I think I pronounced it right. <laughs> uh, I've seen a video of it a while back and yeah, it looked pretty interesting, so now it's time to give it a go. I had to fix my sound settings before, so I had to start a game, but I was only a couple seconds in, so all good. Alright, well, let's get to it. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. Okay, so pretty easy controls, I'd say, so far. You got it. Yeah, whatever. It's with the sensitivity. Oh my god, I gotta change this. Uh. Oh wait, I can play with the controller. I don't have one plugged in right now, but I am a controller player. Ah, oh, sensitivity. Okay, there we go. That'll do. A little bit better. Uh, cheese pizzas. Perception is reality. Now, it's something about like the further you drop it away from you, the bigger it'll get, or something. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. If I drop it at my feet, it would be smaller. But I've already taken it away from me. There you go. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, right. So, uh, right, so you can see it gets smaller. Easy stuff. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you oh, retain full consciousness okay. and control. Get up on this. Ah, this game's too easy. And I'm saying that now, there'll be something that'll challenge me. I look weird. No objects. Uh, okay, so it's, it's not going to let me do that. Oh, that looks weird. Stand on this, okay. Yep, yeah, it's not a thought. Surely we can bring this through somehow. Some way. If I go through the door first, nope. Okay. <laughs> Is there a sprint button? No. Okay. There's something. I can grab that. Okay. Not too hard. Maybe. Um, table. This is the only thing in the room. Right, okay. I thought it was a window. <laughs> it's just what. Okay. Yeah, it's just one of those weird doors. I'll make this bigger. Yeah. Yeah, kind of work. 
There we go. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Confirm. Okay. Well, you can move freely, up. interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care Let's team. Go. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> uh, what are these things? And there with a the button in there. Ah, chest piece. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, you see the shadow, bang, easy stuff. Quick and rotate. Uh huh. Alright, uh, what else is in the room? I'm guessing we. We use that like a ramp? How do we make this massive? Is it, <laughs> it going to crush me? Oh, and that's working. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's move this a tad. I think, yeah, it's a bit bigger. Don't squish me! <laughs> Get in there. Oh, yeah. During yeah. eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Was easy. Warning, you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation a, pathway. A red soda, I suppose. This is on the door. Wait a minute. <laughs> How big can we make this thing? I want like a, you know, human sized can, maybe more. Holy crap. Imagine if you could do this in real life. <laughs> you got some soda to last you the rest of your life. Okay, I don't think I can go back. That's, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Yep, the door. No. Rotate this. I haven't seen another door. Or... Oh, can I get past this can? <laughs> Wait, I came in through a door. There's a door there. What is this thing? Oh, hello. Oh, that's probably what I needed the can for. Alright, I'll just use this. Make it tiny. Make it smaller. Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ding! Just a tiny little box that you need. Don't need a key or anything. Okay, smash glass. Mm hmm. What do we got down here? Does one okay? This game's really fucking weird. I'm gonna make this smaller. And is that gonna work? 
It's still massive in there. What in the hell? Yeah, think, think, think. Okay, well it's smaller while well, it's over there. Can I get through here? Can I see through there? <laughs> okay. Where's that? Okay. Yeah, well, just just have to find the sweet spot. Okay. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Just, just open that. Right. So I can't grab it through there. Can't walk through with it. Wait, why does that look weird? That's not going to get it through. Uh, there we go. Oh, I <laughs> landed straight on there. <laughs> right, what have we got here? A chest piece. We got some apples. Okay. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, it's just a window. Is that one? Okay. okay. Yeah, I thought that looked a bit dodgy. So I'll put that in there. Okay. Right. Um, and that's gonna close. Okay. Can I make this big enough that it hits both? I'm wondering. Let's spin it that way. Hopefully, it keeps standing up. Right. I think this is gonna be doable. <laughs> oh my god! This game's funny. Yeah. Oh, I got There's something. Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh, did I just make it smaller? I made it smaller. So I'm a big dumbass. I need it to come closer to me without <laughs> killing me. Hopefully. Cause I, that's it. There we go. Definitely like what we've done with this. It's um, yeah, it is definitely something different, and I'm really into puzzles. So yeah, please I'm stand by it. for polite recognition on but your need completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To but maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, ones. please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Well, that makes it obvious. I can just. Okay, maybe not as obvious. Let's stand back on this. Oh, right. It's more than one. That one looks a bit dodgy as well. Yeah. I'm try this one. Okay, we got some cheese. Is that cheese or cake? I don't know. Can you get cheese wrapped in red stuff? Yeah, it's cheese. Right, 
Uh, okay, so we just gotta look around for what else so you can grab. We've got an exit sign. They come in handy for God knows what. Um, let's give me see what was that. Oh, just a vent. Okay. Well, I mean, I could use this like a ramp and see if I can fit through the top there, I suppose. Oh. I haven't tried clicking on this yet. No, okay. That'd be funny if I put the exit sign up here and then it opened. I don't think I can get it fucking straight. Stay up there. <laughs> exit, damn it. Alright, we'll try the cheese. See what happens. Not really what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, okay, I'd just literally bash it with a bit of cheese. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> I think I can fit through there. Okay. So, wasn't too hard. It's not over here yet. Can get through these. Nope. These are all just probably fucking decoys. Is there a sprint button? I don't think there is. A couple of doors. What do we? What do we do here? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Definitely did not see that. <laughs>